Hello everyone and welcome back to another DE Moon news video and today we got some spicy news in a form of a trailer for the upcoming maps it will to be added the 31st of May 2023 so Move Interactive have released a new video on their YouTube channel now it's actually unlisted for whatever reason uh, but link will be in the description and you are seeing the footage right now of a 27 seconds trailer for the upcoming The Reaper maps the final arc in the Digimon Tamers story. We have been getting the Digimon Tamers related maps and storyline quests 2020 and the, and the second part was in 2021. Of course in 2022 they added, they went back to adventure and added the spiral mountains but now in 2023 they have finally gonna be adding the last chapter in the Digimon Tamers story and that is gonna be the D Reaper as you can see we got a, a lovely new trailer a 27 seconds trailer that is unlisted as I said I'm not sure why but yeah Obviously the trailer as you can see it's probably like looping on the video right now There is not a lot to talk about because they didn't show much It's basically the Deer Reaper Like Shinjuku but taken over by the Deer Reaper similar to the anime We probably gonna get like the same maps that we have but basically full of the D Reaper and we will probably get new dungeons inside of the D Reaper Again not much information shared However, in the video description of the trailer, they say we will greet Tamers with a new map and various content. So we will probably get, we're probably gonna get more things alongside the maps. So other than the quests, probably new daily quests and new dungeons. This could also come with a higher level of Tamers goggles and more items to craft using using the Shinjuku daily quest reward. And yeah, we really don't know much on what we're getting. But some speculation, obviously this is gonna be a new end game stuff, we already know that by now, every single dungeon they add is usually harder than the previous one. So yeah, uh, obviously not too excited for that because of, mainly of course the dungeons because you know, need triple S plus which are you know pay to win stuff so yeah I really hope whatever happens doesn't at least it's not like way too hard but you know I think we already know what's gonna happen it's probably gonna be like super hard dungeons that only people with triple S plus are gonna be able to do and it will probably come with ridiculously high hit and crit requirement you know the usual stuff but the one thing that actually concerns me the most is max level increase I really hope that's not the case this is not confirmed anywhere it's just speculation that this might come with max level increase from 130 to 140 and i really really hope that's not the case leveling to 130 is already super boring it's not fun honestly like unless they do something and make leveling more fun or add something like more fun to increasing your level from 130 to 120 uh, from 130 to 140 because you know when we got level to 120 it honestly didn't change much I mean other than it made some older content easier but gameplay just remains the same it just kinda made some older content easier so if we get level 140 it will make the spiral mountain dungeons much easier because you will no longer need crazy hit and crit requirement because of course having a 10 level advantage basically reduce you, your hit and crit requirements by a significant amount but I, I kinda hope that's not the case because yeah leveling is just pain so yeah we'll see it's gonna be added next week, so on the 31st of May. So yeah, we'll cover it on the channel when we get it. So yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for the more content. I will catch you guys in the next video.